So I'm standing here in front of the Basilica of San Lorenzo in the center of Florence, famous for many things, among which the Medici chapels, which alone are worth a visit. Although the Medici chapels are actually a separate part from the church and you have to pay and book that in advance, but that is the subject of another video. On today's video, I wanna show you how to get from the center of Florence, which is where we are, to Piazzale Michelangelo, which is on the opposite side of the Arno River. So we're very close to a lot of the major Florentine attractions, including San Lorenzo itself, but also the Duomo, which is the cathedral, the Battistero, the baptistry, the Bargello, uh, Piazza della Signoria, the Uffizi, all of this is here in the center. And no matter where you leave from, I want to show you how to walk from here to Piazza Michelangelo. Now it is about a half an hour walk, so let's get started. We have reached the Piazza del Duomo, which is where the Duomo is, the cathedral and the Battistero. There are two different ways we could go to cross the Arno to go towards Piazza del Michelangelo. At this point, we are going to head over to Piazza della Signoria, which is just behind me, because we're going to take a different bridge to cross the Arno River. If we were to keep going straight, we would have crossed the Ponte Vecchio, arguably Florence's most famous bridge, but it is also the most crowded. Now, by heading to Piazza della Signoria and continuing that way, we're actually going to cross a different bridge called Ponte alle Grazie, and it's going to take us across the Arno just the same, but the bridge should be considerably less crowded, so let's go. One thing you're going to see at Piazza della Signoria is a copy of Michelangelo's David. Now, that is the goal when we get to Piazza di Michelangelo, but there is a bonus copy right here in the piazza as well. Of course, this is actually where his statue stood initially before it was moved to the Accademia. Now Alessandro's gonna get a coffee at one of the best coffee places in Florence, Ditta Artigianale. There's actually quite a few of these branches here in Florence, but uh, we're at one right here on the way to our goal, which is Piazza Michelangelo. It's always a good time for a coffee stop. So what it makes interesting about this kind of, uh, you know, setup is the fact that you have a counter literally, I just paid my bill by the way, uh, a counter literally on the street. And uh, when you go uh, and ask for your coffee, uh, especially, they're going to serve the, your coffee at the window. Right That's there? What it's in. That's what I'm going to have. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> my espresso, my stretto. That's where I want it, ristretto. And uh, so I'm going to enjoy my uh, first coffee in the morning here at the bar, Artigianale. It's a relatively new brewery since 2013, but the guys did do an excellent job. And it's so creamy and it smells so good. All right, at this point, we are going to turn right and head over the bridge called Ponte alle Grazie. So from here, the Piazzale Michelangelo is another 15 to 20 minutes walk or so, so let's keep going. Well guys, we are walking over this bridge and it's a little windy but it is also really uncrowded and it's nice to be able to see the Ponte Vecchio over there and have all this kind of wide open space. In this moment, I would say that it's not actually pleasurable to cross the Ponte Vecchio. It's really packed and 
you're not going to be able to get uh, great pictures. It's going to be hard to go shopping if that's what you're looking to do. It's just wall to wall people. So this is a nice way to cross the Arno without that huge crowd. One more stop, behind me you'll see a gate, kind of arch, uh, which is Porta di San Miniato, which eventually will lead us our walk all the way up to Piazzale Michelangelo, very panoramic scene. So two streets, very important, the heart of the neighborhood, the neighborhood is called Oltrarno, and to my right there is a Via di San Nicolo, straight ahead behind me it's a Via di Porta San Miniato, which takes the name eventually from the gate or the Porta. So, and I highly recommend you to stop either before or after your walk to Piazzale Michelangelo. There is an excellent stop right here. It's an excellent bar. It's called the Barrifrullo. It's very popular among locals and tourists alike. You see a lot of tourists, you know, in and out and, uh, you know, walking around these streets. as soon as you turn left after the Porta San Miniato, you have to make your way up to this staircase here. And there's a little bit of street, there's a little bit of park, there's a little bit of stairs. Pick which one you want to do, make your way. But the bottom line is the goal is to get to the beginning of this staircase and then you can start winding your way up. Ready, honey? Let's head yeah. up. Yeah. All right, so once you have arrived at this uh, staircase, it starts to get pretty steep. So this is not great for those with walking problems, knee problems, etc. You might want to take a cab or public transportation or even drive here if you have your own car. Even from this midway point, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you've got the Duomo behind me, you can see that there, but off in this direction, you can also see the towers that used to protect the city, and they are intact. It's, it's a pretty amazing view from up here, and we're not even all the way at the top yet. guys, so when you get up here to Piazzale Michelangelo, the main thing to do really is to see the beautiful sculpture uh, of David, which is obviously a replica of the original, which is in the Academia. And of course, you're going to want to get some beautiful pictures and video of those stunning Florence views. You might want to check out the sweet little garden and pond that's just underneath the restaurant here. You might want to have a bite at the restaurant. There are also a bunch of little stands and shacks where you can just grab some fast food. And nearby, if it's springtime, you might want to visit the iris garden and the rose garden as well. Now, if you have time, you could go right up behind the Piazza Michelangelo and visit the stunning monastery of San Miniato and its beautiful cemetery. To get back down, you can simply walk back the way you came. There are actually quite a few different possibilities, so you could switch up your route just a little bit. As you can see, there are plenty of cars here, so car is one way that you can come and go to this beautiful piazzale. Uh, there are city buses, there are also the city sightseeing buses, and of course taxis if you don't feel like walking. And while we are here on this beautiful day, in fact, it's the middle of the day, <laughs> it's not the best light, most people, especially Florentines, love to come up here at sunset. The views and the open sky make for a stunning vista for sunset. 
All right, if you want to know how to see Michelangelo's original sculpture of David, check out my video all about how to visit the Academia.